After a recent uh, close call on New Road, I thought I'd make a first uh, face the camera video to accompany my cycle series. Two seconds later, that would have been almost identical to the uh, accident I had in 2006. So from this, really, you might think the cycling's dangerous, but it's not. Most of what I capture isn't life-threatening or even dangerous to myself. And remember, for every five or ten minutes of video you see, I've cycled on average around five hours. You do need to have your wits around you, I give you that. But it's not a, that's just about the same with almost anything. Now we've uh, got these new laws coming in soon, which seems to be bringing up a lot of cycle hatred. First thing I'll say about this, the vast majority of road users are in fact perfectly fine. It's just there's so many road users out there that meeting one of the idiots is a common occurrence. So to answer a few complaints I've seen, the biggest out there is why, you know, cyclists really need to follow the highway code. Jumping red lights, no excuses. Impatience isn't an excuse. Just because I'm a bike, I can go through the red lights. I'm watching what I'm doing, not an excuse. Stop at red. Okay, why don't cyclists pay road tax? Well, what's road tax? It's a vehicle excise duty. These days, it's an emissions tax. Low emissions cars, pre-April last year, um, all electric cars, they pay zero vehicle excise duty. So, no road tax. Why can't cyclists be made to register and get insurance? Well, why can't pedestrians? Where do you draw the line? The biggest risk cyclists bring is mostly to themselves. Also, you can't really do this with kids. How would you register with kids? So, it'd be completely unenforceable. As it is, the police are thinly spread. Their time can be better taken up than checking on hundreds of cyclists every day. Now, why do cyclists need so much space when they're quite happy to ride inside all the traffic at traffic queues? Well, at traffic queues, the traffic's normally stopped. When you're cycling along and some idiot passes you with two inches to spare, it can be quite a shock at times. You know, we're not really looking for privileges, we just want to stay alive, like most of us. We're not protected by the metal cage that a car, a lorry, a bus provides. Help us stay alive. Why do cyclists ride two abreast or more? Well, two abreast is allowed, and you've got to give enough room to pass a single cyclist anyway. Having two isn't much else. You know, just wait for a gap, pass safely. More than two? Not really on, but I normally ride solo anyway, so I'm just me. Why do cyclists weave in and out instead of riding in a straight line? Well, have you seen the state of the roads? It's normally to avoid a pothole or something like that. Or quite often, something parked in a bike lane. Well, I'll just add to this now. As a driver who've passed five driving tests, one in a car and four various driving tests on buses, I can see things from both sides. I do follow the highway code, all times. Now. This won't stop the cycle hatred, but I thought I'd make this video anyway. Give my point of view. It's what this platform thrives on. And uh, thank you all for having the patience to follow my cycle series and to listen to me rabbit on you in my first face to camera video. Please consider subscribing. Not that you'll ever see ads or anything like that. I'm not gonna add. I'm not gonna monetize even if it's offered to me. I just like the feeling that people are watching. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.